So, how long is it going to take to get to Gestalt? Quite a long journey by train. 12 hours in all, with four changes. I'm beginning to think I should have flown there. Huh. Carrying my snowball is going to be a real pain. <laughs> Never mind. It's a lot better for your carbon footprint. A what? Your carbon footprint. Oh, that? Yeah. I worked mine out online last week. It's a bit disturbing, actually. It told me that if everyone in the world had a lifestyle like me, we'd need 2.3 planets to survive. You're kidding. Yeah, makes you think, doesn't it? Something has to be done. Maybe. But I don't see how we can make a big difference. I mean, I recycle newspapers and packaging and stuff. And I turn off the TV at night, that kind of thing. But are you suggesting we all uh, go and live in caves or something? <laughs> no, that's not what I'm trying to say. What I meant was that there are lots of other things we can do, not just recycling or saving energy. Like what? Well, take food shopping, for example. It'd be much better if uh, everyone bought food that's produced locally, not stuff that's flown halfway around the world. That's an interesting point. I've never really thought about that. But if we all stopped eating, say, bananas, then the economies of some countries would collapse overnight. How moral or ethical would that be? Fair enough. But I still think we should eat more locally grown stuff and avoid buying things with lots of packaging. Uh, yes, but then again, the packaging keeps the food fresh. Nobody's going to buy food that's gone off, are they? No, of course not. But I just don't think it's right that the food industry creates so much rubbish. OK, then. What else could I do? Um, let me think. Well, you could become a vegetarian. Why'd you say that? Well, one argument in favour of being vegetarian is that farming animals is wasteful and uses so much energy. Did you know that the same area of land can produce enough soya beans to feed 600 people, but only enough beef to feed 20 people? But I think people should have the right to eat whatever they want. I mean, are you saying that human beings shouldn't be allowed to eat meat? No, that's not what I meant. All I'm saying is that meat production is very damaging to the environment. Well, some people would argue that humans have always eaten meat. And we've been around for one and a half million years. Yes, but there weren't billions of us then. Anyway, let's go eat. All this talk of food is making me hungry. We can eat at the station cafe. What do you fancy? Ugh. Well, it's hard to say. I was looking forward to a burger, but maybe I'll just have a salad sandwich. <laughs>